<laughs> she beat me to it. Hello friends. Happy Tuesday. I'm happy to be here with you today and today we have a special guest. Dahlia. Dahlia. She is my little baby. She's home from school today because she has a little bitty cold. So she's going to be my little sidekick. Is that okay with you Dahlia? Yes? Okay good. She might be coloring or whatever during this video but y'all don't mind right? Because we're friends. This week I decided to do a little craft that I used to make when I used to volunteer for the hospice. But the hospice now, actually has a lot of volunteers and they make crafts and useful things for places where people are needing hospice or nursing homes and things of that nature. And one of the things that we used to make are these adult bibs. Now I know that everyone is not going to need to make something like this. But if you have some time during the holidays and maybe you know someone who works at a nursing home or lives in a nursing home and they might need some of these, it might be a wonderful idea to sew some up or even visit your local hospice and potentially donate some if they need them. Well, this is one of the items that we would make. Now what it does, yes, it's a scarf, but what it does is it helps those who have difficulty um, keeping food off of their clothing to have something to clean up with. Because generally speaking, having a napkin on your lap can be really cumbersome. They fall on the floor. You know, nobody wants to tuck something into their top. Uh, and so this actually keeps the food off of their clothing so that the individual can take it off when done and it can be washed. What a fabulous idea. Another way to use it though, if you like baking and cooking or if you're constantly losing your towels in the kitchen, this is actually a good way to have a towel handy. Uh, you just throw it around your neck and you know while you're cooking, you have a towel. So there's actually two ways that you could use this if you'd like. I'm gonna show you how to make one super fast. It takes like 10 minutes. Do you want to learn how to make one? Yes. <laughs> well, you have to come along, friends. I'm Nye, and this is Dahlia with Ellie and Mac. Let's go, friends. Here you go. You can wear this one. <laughs> it's so warm. <long. laughs> Okay, to get started, you're gonna need a couple lengths of ribbon. These are about 11 and a half inches long. You will need two flour sack towels. You can use one flour sack towel and cut it in half if you like. I found these at Walmart. They are main stains, main stays, <laughs> main stains. I am thinking about the purpose of these towels. They are mainstays brand and they were $5.50 for a pack of five. However, you can also use tea towels if you like. You can get those from the dollar store for a dollar each, or you can just get the um, other kinds of towels if you like. You can use regular fabric as well. So you want to wash and press these because they're 100% cotton and it doesn't say on the tag that they're pre-shrunk. So you want to wash them and uh, press them so that they shrink. You're also going to need a small bit of woven fabric. Now this is some woven fabric that I have left over from the style Magnolia. It is 14 inches in width and 29 inches in length. What you're going to do is you're going to fold it right sides together and you're going to also take the short ends and fold them a half an inch in. See, you see on the wrong sides I have folded each short end half an inch. Now you don't have to sew it yet because you're going to tuck your towel in there first. Now what you are going to do is you are going to fold your fabric right sides together and sew a nice stitch from end to end of this fabric. Essentially, you're gonna be making a tube. Thank you, Dolly, for those directions. 
She's so cute. I love her. I might be a little biased. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and sew that, and I'll be right back. Okay, now that I have this sewn straight across, I'm going to go ahead and snip my threads, and then I'm going to press the seam open because we don't need any extra bulk. So you stick your arm in there. You want to turn that inside out for me? She is a very good turner outer person. This is why I had children to turn fabric right side out, right? Wow, look at you. Good job. Oh, you did a good job. Yes. Oh, thank you, biscuits. Let me make it. Okay, yep, nice and flat, yep. Good job. Okay, you wanna make sure that your seam is in the center. So my seam is... In this place. Yes, okay. thank you, Dahlia. It's right here in the middle. And I'm gonna go ahead and press it flat. <laughs> now I have it nice and flat. I'm gonna grab my towel. Now there are two ways that you can do this. Actually, there are many ways that you can do this. You can choose to run a stitch through here that is going to, Dolly, can you? <laughs> We're not ready yet. Ma. Okay, um, you can choose to do a ruffle stitch, which will kind of gather this together, or you can do some pleats if you like. Um, also, you can fold it in half if you would like a shorter length of scarf. And that's what I'm gonna do with this one. I'm actually gonna fold it in half um, because this kind of towel is very thin. I wanna be able to have some, you know, thickness and absorbency. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pleat this to the width of my um, scarf here. So I folded it in half. And then I'm going to kind of just pleat it all on through. Now, remember that the seam is going to be on the underside. underside. So you want to make sure that whichever way, if you're pleating, if you're making like a decorative pleat, that you do that and you have it placed on the proper side. Okay, I'm not doing this right. Here we go. One. Two. Okay, so... You can see that I'm just kind of folding this so that it will meet my little scarf here. And fold it like that. And then fold it like this. That. <laughs> like this and like that and up. It's like this and like that and like this and up. It's like that. This. That. Beep, beep. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so now I have it nice and folded. And it is the Part. width of my scarf. Width. So you're going to do that. You're going to do that to width. both towels. And then you're going to take it and make sure that your decorative side or whichever side that you want on the top is facing up. You're going to make sure your middle seam is facing down. And you're basically going to take that towel. If you want to stay stitch it, you can do that. And you're just going to stick it inside. Just stick it in there just like that. Now, you don't need a whole lot of it to be in there because you're going to sew a quarter inch from the edge to get that towel to stay. So now all you have to do, now that it's in there, all you have to do is fold that second towel, pin it, and then sew a straight stitch across here. Okay, let's get that done. Okay, now that we have it sewn, we sewed all the way through the towel and the fabric. And since we had already folded and pressed a hem, we didn't have to worry about doing that when we were sewing. So now we get our lengths of ribbon and we want to fold them. Make sure that you have your scarf with the towel as you would wear it, right? So it would be worn like this. And you want to pin your ribbon right here. I'd say fold it about half an inch. 
and then put that raw edge there against the scarf and pin. So once you have it there, you can pin it in place. So you want your ribbon to face inward because it's going to get tied there, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to pin it right there, just above the quarter inch quarter where your towel begins. Okay? Yeah. So what I usually do is a stitch that's going to keep it nice and flat. You don't want to sew it onto the bulk of where your towel meets inside of your scarf. So what I'll end up doing is sewing a nice little rectangle here and maybe even a um, a diagonal across to keep it on there because this is going to get used quite a bit it's going to get tied and untied many times so you want to make sure it's nice and stable also be sure to take the ends of your ribbon and burn them with a lighter for just a couple seconds maybe not even a couple seconds like a fraction of a second um, to keep it from fraying now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and sew these down be right back once you're done sewing your ribbons on this is ready to be used. You can make multiples of them and donate them in your community, especially during the holidays when holiday meals are a big deal. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful week. If you like my content, please remember to like and subscribe. Make a little comment below. Let me know how you feel about this video or any other videos. And I'm gonna go ahead and leave a little video next if you'd like to watch it, I'm Nye. Wait, I'm